What is up, nerds? All right, so I've made this reroll guide. We are live on Twitch right now, but I made this reroll guide about two, three times now, and I think the easiest way for me to do this is to show you guys how this process is through its entirety. I did do a lot of jump cuts. So here we are at the War of the Visions Final Fantasy Brave Exvius menu. So here's how it works. Uh, a lot of people have been going to the free 10 summon and then quitting if they don't get a good roll. I think it's worth the time and effort to proceed about six more minutes in uh, to get the three step up you are summon. Uh, you do need to do a few missions to get that summon. Um, uh, and this guide is not a who to reroll for. Uh, Across the board, on day one, you're going to hear Medina. Reroll for Medina. So if you pull Ayaka Medina, keep the account. If you pull Ayaka, do you want to keep a high-tier healer on the first day where very little is known about each character? Well, Medina's the one to go for. She's a strong mage. She'll be your farmer for a long time from what the JP statistics state. And her third class is a ninja, so she'll get a lot more option too. Um, so, all right, we have the menu here. How it's going to work is we're going to click permissions. We're going to allow Brave Exvius to check all of our stuff. So if you re-rolled on a tablet or you re-rolled on your phone and you want to put it onto your emulator, then you click continue. Um, and what it's going to do, it's going to have you sign into Google or sign in or log on your Facebook. I'm on a Android emulator called Bluestacks 4, so I cannot get access to the iOS for uh, iOS uh, login. However, if I'm re-rolling on my tablet and I'm like, cool, I want to bind it to my account on my uh, emulator, all right? I'm going to click continue, log in with Facebook. Be very mindful. When you, when you uh, bind an account, I think you have two opportunities to bind and unbind an account before you can never bind that account again. Um, I don't know any, again, this is the first 24 hours, so I don't know about support tickets or anything that'll, that Gumi will help you out with, but um, if you reroll off of an emulator and you want to add it, add it right here. Another really cool thing that was confirmed is your free vizier, I call it, I want to call it veneers, but your free, cur the, the currency you get in game that, oh, I just punched the hell out of my mic, that isn't paid for transfers from device so if i'm playing on ios which is the phone that i have and then i play on my android emulator my uh visiers will stay uh between both accounts so i can transfer back and forth so that that's incredibly useful incredibly awesome so i'm able to play the game uh stream it and then play it on the go like <laughs> like a good mobile game right so for the re-rolling purposes we're going to click new game after we got done with the the, the first sub menu. So we're going to agree to terms and conditions. I am 16 or older. Who knows? Um, we are going. I'm going to go for the pop off. It says what kind of ads would you like? I want non personalized. So do not click. You're not binding your account yet. If you're a YOLO, bet do it. Go ahead. Live your life how you want to live. However, if you are cool with re rolling, um, go ahead and click guest. Do not bind the account any other way. You can change your name later on in the game, so it's not a big deal. Rendering graphics, if you're playing this on your mobile phone and this comes up, I will switch it to yes. The graphics look terrible, but it, it helps your battery out a lot. So I'm on my uh, PC right now on an emulator playing this game. So uh, Japanese and English is both well, so I would definitely use it. You lying. <laughs> you guys can't see chat, but I can see them. So the reason why I want to do this video in one take, I did it in multiple takes, but... Uh, if, I will put timestamps in my YouTube video showing, okay, cool, like the battles here, uh, the reroll ones here, reroll twos here. Um, it just makes things a lot easier uh, than what I'm doing right now. Uh, but if you're here for the whole video, then awesome. That's in incredibly awesome. Um, so, uh, again, this is not going to be a reroll guide for who to reroll for. It's a reroll guide on how to reroll. Again, you go to any streamer on the first day, they're going to say Medina. If you go to, I mean, again, maybe the subreddit, maybe comment, YouTube comments. Maybe people start finding out different things about MRs or URs. But right now, Medina seems to be the queen. So here's the first fight that you have to play. Uh, Mott, again, if you're new to any tactical game, it's well worth to, uh, Invest some time. I just burped right there. <laughs> Invest some time uh, into learning about these characters and uh, learning about the skill sets and learning about the gameplay. This game is incredibly overwhelming. Uh, there's no doubt about that at all. Um, there's little that you can do uh, initially that makes you feel like, okay, well, this is all these menus are pretty easy to understand. These characters, like, it, it's there's a lot of stuff that happens in this game uh, just from the menus alone, and you'll get a grasp of it. So. 
uh, in the beginning, just take time to learn the tutorials, take time to read everything. Again, this is Medina right here. We don't get to see her pop off, but she does body. And she comes in as a vision. Um, so there's other characters to re-roll for if you really, really want. There's Gilgamesh, uh, who was at Veritas the Frost that came from Final Fantasy Brave Exvius, but was never from Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. Uh, he's a great character, but his investment's ridiculous. Um, if I have Medina, who's a 5-star, I'm sorry, who's a UR, and I have uh, Gilgamesh, who's also a UR, both of them, to get their shards in the shop, it will cost Medina, it will cost me 2,000 Vizures to get more shards, it will cost me 4,000. It costs literally double. So Gilgamesh is the whale's unit. So if you see a, 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 a decked out Gilgamesh, then that individual is heavy, heavy on the wallet. Um, so click, keep clicking this little bar over here. Uh, there's only one auto fight that we can unfortunately do. Uh, it's also, okay, it's the, ooh, well, we'll try to fix that. We'll put this down a little bit. Again, if, uh, your boy don't make YouTube videos often going over tutorials and, and helpful things. So, uh, if me putting down the audio helps a little bit, then we'll do that. Is that cool? Okay. So, oh my gosh, my nose keeps itching. I'm so sorry, man. I'm so sorry. So we'll uh, again. This this part of this fight teaches you about heights and how characters can uh, certain characters can go uh, attack up or down, left or right. Uh, how many blocks they can go up. Again, this game gets a lot of comparison to the Alchemist Code, which I think is fair. Uh, but I, it's a good comparison. The Alchemist Code's a great uh, gotcha game. Um, I think tactics games are amazing. This game also has a, a good auto function. It gives you. Uh, the AI seems to be doing pretty well in the boss fights that I've had, and the it allows you to get a 1.5 times speed. There's a paywall for two times speed, but there's honestly not that big of a difference. Um, I guess 0.5 is is what you need to do. Um, so after this fight, we're going to be coming up to the first reroll, which I think a lot of people believe is the first part of the reroll. Uh, if you really want and you don't want to do another six and a half, maybe seven minutes uh, of re-rolling, then sure. Oh, not re-rolling, but playing the game. Um, then yeah, you can re-roll. If you want the perfect account, then sure. Pull Medina the first pull. Um, again, if for anyone that's still this far, I will have timestamps just because I, 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 I can understand you playing this game and re-watching and re-rolling yourself. It would be kind of, it kind of like, man, why, just keep watching the same thing. Uh, but I really think it's worth to go through to get, because instead of getting one summon after this, we're going to get a total of three more, so four total. You can get screwed, though, if you don't get at least 15 new characters. If you summon hella vision cards, uh, you're kind of up shit's creek. Um, so we'll, uh, once we get past these menus, it's a, it's, the storyline seems good so far. I'm enjoying it all, but I love, uh, I'm a huge Final Fantasy Tactics fan. I got... A few tattoos of uh, tactics characters on me. Um, all right, so this is the part that I am going to stop the video for. It's you guys can't see it above my head, but it's 88% loading. So the game is downloading while you play the tutorial. So for your first time through, I'm sure you guys it, it, it loaded fast. But when you're doing what I'm doing, and you're just skipping it quick. It's going to land like this. So uh, I'll uh, unfortunately, actually, I can't bring the video back. I got to keep it because if I keep it, it's separated, then I'm not going to be able to render it. So. Um, so I guess we could, what we talk about, again, if you're not using the timestamps, go ahead and use those right below. But, um, uh, Ayaka's good to roll for, but anything with Medina, anything with Medina is a, a surefire way. There's a vision card. There's, um, I haven't seen anyone roll an Odin yet, but I've seen people roll Iron Giants. I did roll an Ifrit on one account. Uh, vision cards are gonna, they're a hand in hand with the summon pool. Um, uh, they're not separate, unfortunately. There might be banners that come out that have them separate, but there is a, there is currently a vision card separate for Final Fantasy XIV, uh, if you guys are interested in that, but, um, uh, you, Gilgamesh is good, uh, Ayaka's good, but all these, uh, Gilgamesh specifically is the investment character that you need to worry about. Uh, it's just, there's so, the game is brand new, guys, you know what I mean? She's... She, this, she's brand new so uh, a lot of these questions we need the Japanese veterans to come over to translate for us or to say this character becomes this like a lot of people are talking about Thancred uh, th the, the way that we're going to get Thancred I believe is through event points from what I'm understanding is incredible because in the JP it was not like that you couldn't get him for free you just got to grind to get him but uh, even Thancred even after you get him his investment uh, isn't as isn't as good as another UR attacker um, but the, I, I, again, I think this game is going to be based on how, 
how far are you going to go to invest these characters? If you want to get their TMR, you got to fully awaken them, fully level them up. Um, again, I think at the end of the day, the investment that you do in the character will will be worth it. Um, obviously, the higher, if they're UR or they're MR, which is mega rare, which is the weirdest term I've ever heard, um, is, uh, uh, is going to put a stake in how you want to play the game. I will always tell people, uh, play who you want to play with. All right, here we go. So... Um, this is the first summon. That's the second time I've hit the mic. All right, so this is the first free summon that you get, right? So the game gives you 2,000 veneers, uh, viziers, right, right at the beginning. So, all right, bronze book's not good. You're looking for bronze. You're looking for at least silver, but you want gold. You want that to happen. So it might switch. Okay, it upgraded to gold. So, so this means that my last one will, my last one is, hopefully will be gold, but at least get one. SS, I get one SR out of this. So, for the sake of this video, I'm going to skip everything. But you saw that I had one yellow and all blue. But if you look at my, if you look at the summons, they do pop off. I got one, two, three, four, five. I had five of those ten upgrade. Uh, out of these cards, I believe, uh, I think this is the right one. Um, again, I'm not going to go over who's good, who's the best. So this is the other. A lot of people, I think, stop here. I think it's worth it to go this far. Um, it's a lot of clicking. It's a lot of uh, kind of learning about the game again. If you're if you're brand new, I mean, learning about it's great great for the first time. But if you're re-rolling for two hours, then I can understand it, it's not that fun. So, um, but we are gonna get through this again. I got timestamps below in the video for you guys to pull it forward. But it's just much much easier for me to upload the video raw. Um, so we are going to do a fight that teaches you about like in a uh, attacker going against a ranger and how much more damage you can do against them uh, uh, after this tutorial fight this auto fight though is nice you can just auto it so you can take this time to uh, get up stretch relax please hey guys if you're out there re-rolling please get some water please stretch uh if you you know what if you get two urs and you get ayaka and you get um I keep bringing them up, but Gilgamesh, you get those two characters and you don't want to reroll anymore, go for it. But, you know, you might be struggling at the beginning of the game um, or late game with Gilgamesh just because you can't level them up like you could another five-star base character. So, yeah, I would love to stop the video right now, but we're just going to keep it time-stamped. The fight's pretty fast, though, right here. The fight is pretty fast. Man, I just really hope that they have uh, uh, Cloud come out. <laughs> like, I really want Cloud to come out. Final Fantasy Tactics had a banner uh, for War of the Visions. I think it was the first banner. And then they had a Final Fantasy 1 with Warrior Light. Uh, but I really want Cloud to pop off in April. Um, but who knows? You know what I mean? I mean, if, if anyone, JP would get it. Uh, JP would get it first. So, the um, again, if you want to reroll on that one, go for it. You're no, There's no guarantee. There's no... You're just going to re-roll on that 10. So that took, what, without me talking, maybe 10 minutes to get to that re-roll part. Um, so we're going to beat the mission. Uh, again, a lot of this stuff is... There's a lot of content in this game, guys. It's incredibly overwhelming. Um, so hopefully content creators like myself can help purge through the necessary... You know, what people want to know. Because a lot of people just want to know the... The meat of it, not the potatoes and the carrots. You know what I mean? So we get done with the auto fight. That's done. Um, so... The game's going to teach you a little bit more. There's a lot of tutorials in this game. So what they're going to do first is they're going to teach you about the submenus, and then they're going to talk about uh, Mott, but not Mott specifically, just characters in general. Uh, what you need to do. A lot of login bonuses going on. There's three different. Um, also, a funny thing. This reroll guide will only really survive for six days because that's how long the banner's on. So we click the unit. Again, if this is your first time rerolling uh, or your sec first time playing the game, you definitely should pay attention to this. How to level up characters, um, how to get, how to enhance their jobs, and how to unlock their abilities, which is important for Medina because her, if you unlock her um, AP plus two, she unlocks her uh, limit burst in the very first turn of the match. So, which is helpful for PvP, which is autoed, and it helps for farming, which is what she's used for primarily. Um, so we are going to. There's just a lot of menus, a lot of menus, but I mean they they do well to tell you about it a little bit. But I know that most people just want to get to their account and then they'll start paying attention to what's going on. All right, so here at this point in the game, this is where the game is like, all right, cool. Well, you can kind of go do some stuff now. 
which after a while playing through story, you'll eventually get to a point where you come to the sub menu and they're gonna, I'm sorry, the main menu, and they're gonna start unlocking uh, some of these things so they'll teach you more. But for this reroll instance, we're just gonna get past this. Okay, so once you get the notices, uh, again, I, a lot of content creators still believe that this is the best way to do this. So we're going to go to Beginner's Hall. That's the first one you want to go to. We're going to click on Beginner's Quest 1, and we're going to click on Embark. Unfortunately, you cannot auto this, um, So, but this one's easy. The second one's a little bit longer. The reason why you want to do this is because you hopefully we get enough um, Vigiers so that we can do... I'm, I'm never going to pronounce that word right, so I apologize. Um... We need enough vision so we can do a three-step guaranteed you are on the last step summon. So again, what this game is teaching you is, hey, you know, not different elements, but why am I doing more damage? Hey, different elements, why am I doing more damage? He's ice. Okay, so we get done with this mission. It's super simple. You learn, right? Tactics game. It's all about tactical advantage. A lot of us are going to be autoing this, uh, but not in our raids, not in our co-ops. Uh, probably not for those big boss fights. I will say it doesn't have the magnitude of tactics that I thought it would. But I, I mean, I know that from the beginning. But I think it's because tactics had those cute little characters. But I love when... Uh, I love... Uh, anyway, I'm getting way off track. So, okay, we go to the second Beginner's Hall uh, quest. Once we finish this quest, we can do our three more rolls. So, again, without me talking and I'm clicking through this in the beginning, we're looking at probably 14 minutes. Um, again, this is going to talk about chaining, which there is chaining in this game. Uh, I am not superb at it in the slightest, but... Um, again, if you guys have never uh, played a tactics game before, typically uh, uh, back attacks will always do more damage or 100% or guarantee a hit. Um, I just want to... I want to get rid of as much HP as possible. I was helping a crit there, but first world problems. Yeah, I want to attack all the way over there. So again, you have four characters you need to defeat these characters. Uh, it, it's really hard to lose uh, all that damage that you saw that I took. It's big swole. All that damage you saw me took was uh, from me hurting myself from doing that damn Tatsumaki Sampukia. Uh So you can use skills to beat this fight quicker. Uh, I'm just trying to get through it as fast as possible because that's what we're here for. Again, I uh, again I'm gonna reiterate this. If you if you did not use the timestamps and you guys are sticking around for this i think it's it's very much well worth uh i can't do this uh it's very much well worth to go through the uh, uh this reroll process uh it's just this this ogre is kind of a, a meaty character all right we're gonna yep take a step back again i mean even if you could out of this fight you just it would give you another opportunity to do something else again if you guys need to take a break always take breaks Rerolling is a grinding process, uh, and I mentioned this before, and I know I'm kind of jumping all over the place, so, you know, that's just, I apologize for me jumping around everywhere, but um, this banner that I'm about to summon on, uh, the Fresh Start or the New Players banner, it only lasts for six days. Um, so, in six days, this reroll guide might not be, there might be a caveat to it, and if it's not a big caveat, I'll put it in the uh, comments below as a highlighted comment saying like, hey, do this, and I'm, I'm going to mention this again just one more time, just in case uh, something does happen. Because a lot of people want to fast forward to the pools or what to do. So, alright, I finished both those uh, beginner quests, okay? I'm going to head back to the main menu, alright? I'm going to go to my presence. Again, this is day one. I'm going to collect Vizier, Vizor, I don't even know what to call it. Vizor? Vizior? Veneers. I'm going to collect my veneers. I'm going to, so I now have 3,700. I'm going to go to the very first banner. The very, 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 very first banner. It's a one time only, and it's a guaranteed you are on the third step. All right, so um, 1,000, and then I have tw this will be 2,500, and then a total of 4,500. Uh, I will show you how to get the rest very quickly. So, okay, this is good. You want to collect units. All right, so this is my first step. Okay, it's bronze. That's a chance, though. It always has a chance. A lot of we don't know what the we don't know what the is gonna pop off. Ching. One more. Nah. Okay. Okay. So good. So I uh, again, you saw in that first pull, I went from no, one SR to five. So uh, these yellows can crack into rainbows. Okay. None of them changed, but we did get a summon, so that was cool. Um, again, 
nothing notable that I can think of on top of my head. But I'm, I'm sure there's characters in there that I'm not paying attention to. All right, so uh, we're going to go for our second summon now, right? So we, the, we're probably about 18. Okay, silver. Silver's good. Gold's the best. Uh, but silver just means that we might have a higher chance of getting that. Dun, dun, dun. No. Okay, so it didn't transfer over. So there's still a chance we get one. Okay, so there's one gold. So keep that in mind again. There's one gold. MR, but look at that. Okay, yeah. No. Okay, yep, same. So we got one MR. SR, SR feels like it's going to be uh, gold, but it's not. MR is better than SR. Um, all right, so we click the back. We go to missions. Uh, we click right on daily. We go to training. We collect, uh, consume a thousand. And then we go more with friends. All right. Do you see this one right here? It says collect 15 units. If you do not get lucky and summon 15 units, if you look up here, I only have 1800. I only have 1800 that's peeking out right here. If you do not get um, 15 units, you need to either play the story a little bit to get a little bit more viz uh, or start the reroll over. But this pull right here is guaranteed, guaranteed to be a UR. So again, I'm looking on this account right now. If I get Medina after three hours of rerolling, I'm I'm going for it. I'll figure out the rest of my cards. All right, so silver doesn't really matter. We'd like it to be gold because maybe it would pop off for two more. Um, it's gonna go gold. It's gonna switch over. That's the one that you guys want. That's the rainbow that we want, right? All right, so we got one rainbow in here. So I'm going to skip it just for the sake of the video. And I got the okay. So this character, uh, Engelbert is uh a uh incredibly powerful tank uh he mont is like your free tank that you can use for a long time but eventually uh having a character like him is going to expand your horizons for end game tankness so that's as far as the if this were my account i would re-roll again it's a long re-roll but i at least got a ur out of it again if you want to if you want to re-roll and say on my first summon it needs to be a ur or i'm going to re-roll completely fine if you don't want to go to these three uh, three things step up that's completely fine too I'm just trying to provide you guys the information that I think and again a lot of feedback is well I might as well just go through all and try to get uh, because that's four pulls in 20 minutes I mean is that worth it that's depending on your time and how bad you how bad you want to reroll again a caveat away from this if you have watched this far is um, Medina is the character that you guys want to go for um, this is already a long enough video, so I'm not going to keep it more too long. So I'm out of here, nerds. Please have a good rest of your day. Please wash your hands, but I'll see you nerds later. All right, bye.